Welcome to chapter four of Cold Calling Made Easy. Hi, I'm Mark Beggs from Right Frame Academy and here I was number one success and mentoring coach. Right, we played the game. You've won. You've got the business card. You've done what you set out to do. You're now cold calling. But here's what I said at the end of chapter three. The bonus points. Every game has bonus points. How would you like some bonus points? And here's how you get bonus points. As you get more comfortable doing cold calling, you can actually slightly make it into a sales call, a soft sale call. And here's how I do this. When I go up to someone, I have two choices. I can say, how you doing? I'm Mark Beggs from Iframe Academy. I just want to leave you some information about myself and my company, if you don't mind. Hope that's okay. Brilliant. I hand it over and say, do you mind if I take your details so we can keep in contact and I keep you abreast of what's happening with the company and what we do? Brilliant. Appreciate that. Thank you very much. I've now left the room left the building and Elvis has moved on, okay? I've got the information I wanted, but I can take it a step more. And how do we do that? Very simple. I'm doing the same thing. Hi, I'm Mark Beggs from Right Frame Academy. I just want to leave you some information about our product and what we do. And the person will take my information. Um, I know the time doesn't suit because I just was in the area. So my apologies for coming in just unannounced. Um, so I can come back to you at another time that suits you. Um, actually, would next week or the week after suit you? Is there a particular day that maybe I could suit, maybe to give you a phone call or drop into you? And just explain in more detail what we do. Now, some of them will go, um, uh, no, not really, no, we're not really into that at the moment. Perfect. Absolutely no problem. If you are, you have my details, keep in touch. And any time you want, just give me a buzz. One, first of all, when you leave that building, you know the person isn't interested at the moment. So you can mark it on your folder call back maybe in two or three months. However, some people will turn around and say, oh yeah, actually I was thinking about doing mentoring and coaching. Yeah, maybe if you come back in a few weeks time. When somebody offers you to come back, that's the opening line for you to pounce. You simply say, right, okay, that's brilliant. Um, when were you thinking? Would maybe Monday two weeks suit you or next Monday? Or, well, do, do you want to pick a day? Maybe in two weeks time. You can actually take a diary out and try and pin someone down. And the more comfortable you get with your presentation and more confident you get in how you approach people and how you talk to people, you will do that. Most people I mentor and coach never ever leave a meeting without getting a time or a date or a referral. I have people who go out selling and somebody might say, no, actually, you know, this isn't for me. No problem whatsoever. Thanks very much for your time. Actually, would you know anybody else that might this might suit? And I might say, well, Jenny Mackers, I do actually. So part of the coaching and mentoring is getting people more confident in what they're doing, more confident with their style, because we all have different styles. So the so if we're going for bonus points, the more doors you hit, you will get confident. And the first time you do it, doing the soft sell, it won't work. You'll say it the wrong way. Most, most of us do. We all have. Some of us still say it the wrong way. But as you get slicker, as you hand over the business card, you can just simply add, would something like this suit you to maybe in the future or would it suit you if I called you back in a week or two weeks on the phone, maybe when you had more time? Because I know you weren't expecting me and I appreciate that completely. Most people, when you first of all apologize for taking up the time and you apologize for coming unannounced, will now see you in a different light. You're not a pain for having interrupted them because you've apologized for that fact. So if you want to go for the bonus points, you can go for the soft sell. Going for the soft sell is trying to make a date for the next meeting. Trying to tie the person down for you to go in and do what you're good at, which is a sales pitch. And doing a sales pitch is a whole new area because I've gone to so many sales pitches, some of them are pure rubbish, other ones I've bought from, okay? But that's a whole different course in itself, doing the sales pitch. So it's up to you whether you want to go for the bonus points. If you're happy just winning the game and getting the business card, that's a major plus. 
at the end of this course now, you should be confident of walking into a place. You should be confident on how to approach someone and how to knock on the door and how to hand over the card and walk away, right? That's important because up to now you have not been selling. If you want to go for the bonus point, go for the bonus point, go for the soft sell and just ask for the meeting. Or even simply ask if you're selling stationery. Actually, who looks after your stationery? Who do you buy from at the moment? Oh, damn. Very good company, okay. Never knock another company. If they tell you that bit of information, never knock a competitor. You're not in that game. You're way above that. You're too professional to do that, okay? Never do that. So if you come along and someone says, yeah, A, B, and C supply us. Oh, they're a good company, fantastic. Well, if you'd like us to quote the next bit of business, you have my details there. Will you be looking for a quote soon or are you going to attend tender soon for that bit of business? Oh, really? Another two months? Do you mind if I come in before that even to chat about you and see what needs you have and what we would need to do to win the business or what you, what you would expect from us? So you're asking questions that will help them because the whole approach you're taking in the soft sell is you're there to benefit them. You're there to help them. What you can do will help them do their job better. And that's what it's all about. So I hope this has helped you. In the next chapter, well, which is basically we're going to sum up what, what we've done. I'll give you all the details on how to contact me for your free half hour of, of, of phone mentoring. The phone mentoring is very important because you're going to have questions. Not every online course covers everything. So you may have some questions. You may decide to go out now and do cold calling today, tomorrow, do your 10 or 20 or 30 calls. Sit back and say, well, okay, why could I? My closing rate isn't that high or too many people said no, they don't want to talk to me. Why is that happening? And then you come on the phone with me and we discuss your approach and what you've done and maybe see what we can do to change certain elements of that to make it work. Or you may have other questions you want to ask me. But write them down, have them ready, make the phone call productive. That's important. Okay, I'll talk to you very shortly in the summary and we just wrap the whole this whole course up. Thank you.